Hello everyone. So in this lecture we are going to understand about special permissions in Linux. In the last few lectures we got an idea about simple permissions that is a read, write and executable. So let's start. So very first is your set UID. So what is set UID? If set UID bit is set on a file and a user executed that file. So what will happen? A process will be initiated and that process will have the same rights as the owner of the file being executed. So that is called set UID. So to make it easier for you to understand this line, I am moving towards a diagram. So here you can see that I have a server, server.example.com and user1 is existing on that which is a normal user and we all know that we have two important files that is etc password file and etc shadow file. Password file keeps the information about the users, username, user id, group, group id, comments and shell. And etc shadow file is a important file which keeps the information about encrypted password. So whatever the users we have in the box, it's encrypted password will always store into this file. That's why if you'll see the permission of this file is having no permission at all. It means that no user can read, write and execute this file except root user. Now we all know that any user can change his password. User1 if logged into the box as a user1, so user1 can change his password. How he he or she has to simple fire passwd command and after that it will ask for the you know confirm password current password and new password and confirm password and as soon as the user change his or her password what will happen this file etc shadow file will be updated but if you see here this is my normal user user one and changing his password and what will happen in result this file is going to be updated because a new encrypted password for user1 is going to be stored into this file. But this file is having no permission at all. Then how come a normal user would able to change his password when the etc shadow file doesn't have any permission for the normal users? This is just because of set UID. Set UID is set on the command that is passwd command. User fired the command that is passwd to change his password. So now let's understand this with another diagram here. Now here you can see that user1 is here okay and user is firing this command usr bin password and process will be initiated and that process is going to change the or update the etc shadow file. This is what actually happened at the backend if a user is going to change the password. So let me take an ideal condition when there is a user and this is the file and this file is basically having the set UID. So I am taking a you know, ideal condition when this file doesn't have any set UID. Now user1 is firing this command which is having full permissions read write executable for users for others and everybody. This is the file, this is the command which user1 has fired it. A process will be initiated. Now here we need to understand one thing. This process, who has initiated this process? My user1. User1 has initiated this process. Because this is something an executable file and this user has executed this file and in result what will happen a process will be initiated. Anything we are doing on the box like if I am simple firing ls command at the back end a process will be initiated like this way this is an executable file I have fired this file a process will be initiated who has initiated this this is user1 so this process will start with a user1 so this process will having the rights of user1 only now user1 now this process is approaching to this etc shadow file which is having the rights of user1 so now this process won't be able to update this file. So this process once it will reach to etc shadow file and will try to you know change the password it won't allow you because this process doesn't have that much of rights to change the etc shadow file. That's why what we have done here 
we have updated this file etc shadow file with a new permission that is your set uid now here you can see that at the user end there is a small s a small s tells about your set uid now this file now it is having the set uid i'm just trying to explain this with the same diagram now this file is having set uid user one is trying to change the password using this command passwd which is having set uid a process will be initiated a process is initiated now this process is having the rights of the this files user id so who is the owner of this file at the user end root which is having read write and executable so this is set uid now this process instead of having the permission of user one here the set uid will give its own permission to the process now this process is having read write and executable permission now this process is approaching to etc shadow file this process is having enough you know permissions so that this process would able to update the etc shadow file so this is called set uid now i am again reading this definition for you the process will have the same rights as the owner of the file being executed so who was the owner of the file root who is the owner of the file here it is a user bin that is a root user owner of the file so the process is initiated although it was initiated by user one but the process will have the rights of the owner of the file so one of the file is root which is having read write and executable permission now this process is approaching to this file and would able to change the etc shadow file or would able to update this file so that's all for this lecture hope you have got an idea about what is set uid all about thanks for watching and if you have time please join with me in the next lecture